Dr. Golick at DAS. About a month ago or so, I had uh, mentioned that I was going to take a pile of ordinary parts and I was going to create a step sequence detector for paranormal use. Well, I have couplings and piezo elements and I made a little nylon neural for a center point for a fulcrum. And I used some common washers for weighting and loading the piezo element. These are the sensors. This is a finished product. This is what a sensor looks like. I'm just going to plug this really quick. It's got a little tripod mount in the bottom, glow in the dark top, glow nylon hole for the sound to emit from the piezo element, which vibrates at a high frequency. All right. The whole purpose of this box is basically a distribution box that allows the input from multiple sensors. In this case, we have three, six, seven inputs. These can go down a hallway, they can go upstairs, they can go in different rooms, and this can be monitored. These detect very subtle variations in vibration in the environment. Now I'm going to demonstrate. My goal is to show some sequence or logical sequence going up and down steps or down a hallway. If we can show sequential incremental vibrations going up a stairway, it really is a substantial evidence. The other thing is it'll show whether it's going up or down based on the array of LEDs that are moving from right to left or left to right. Imagine having these stagger down the hallway every 10 feet and watching these lights in sequence go on as something changes throughout that hallway environment. Let's uh, demonstrate this real fast. These uh, you simply plug into your channel. That's channel 2. That's channel 1. I haven't finished it yet, but this is where I'm at among all the other things I'm working on. So I'm going to be quiet for a minute because they detect very subtle vibrations. Just to demonstrate, if these were on steps, in this case just two steps, here's what would happen. And i got to reverse these because I have them set up wrong. Here we go. Again, this is what you would see. So, in backwards, going down the steps, takes a minute for the capacitor to charge up. A second, actually. All right, so now both of them will go off. All right, step sequence detector, hallway sequence detector. We're looking for logic and things that happen, and we're looking for more than one little vibration. So if we have them separated in a given space, and all of them go off, or they go off in some intelligent logical order, that's really substantial evidence. That's it for now. I'm still working on it. I probably have another week or so to go, but I wanted to give you an update where I was today.